Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 54. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, here we go. Uh, it is time for the classy North America tour. Um, we're going to be starting off with Sedona Raceway, Sunset Peninsula Raceway, Mazda Raceway, Road Atlanta and New York Raceway. It's not, but <laughs> everything had to end with raceway. So it's a raceway now. All right, here we go. Race number one with the uh, Chrysler. I don't know why I picked this car. I've just realized it's an SRT8 as well. So this is like a Dodge. Because Chrysler and Dodge are the same thing, but Chrysler is like their mainstream brand. And then Dodge is like their... I don't even know. Sportier brand. I bet. This car in the UK sticks out like a sore thumb. I've seen a couple on the road, and every time you look at it, it's like... That doesn't fit in. It sticks out. And not in a good way, either. Are you gonna be there? Not bad. I think I'm going to uh, change the playlist. We'll put a different, um, different playlist on. Oh, this is a tune. What a classic. Tune. Faster, faster. Pasta! When in pasta goes faster. I'm in the dirt. Not good. Are you ready? <laughs> what a tune. <laughs> now Your Gun by Bass Hunter. Classic. End of discussion. No one can say otherwise. Skirt, skirt. Thank you. 
The poor simp boss! Now you're gone! Now I'm broke again. Dun dun dun! Not even saving up those channel points for those gifted subs, hmm? I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> it saves me some money. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Simboss ain't gonna be defeated for a while now. Now you're gone. That's why it's on this playlist, you know. <laughs> there are only bangers on this playlist. The only things that I listen to are absolute tunes about C H O N Z. So imagine if someone actually spells tunes like that. C H O O N Z. <laughs> I'm gonna make that an emote. Tunes. That'd actually be kind of funny. <laughs> it's funny it were a Tuesday. It's Tuesday, isn't it? It's fucking Tuesday, lads. I don't even know what accent that was from the UK. I'm pretty sure it was Scouser. But I may be completely mistaken. Or it might just be a made-up accent. I may have just invented a new British accent. Woohoo! We now got 20% discount on intake manifold and throttle body upgrade. Alright. Let's go! Bring back the love that we all believe in. Here comes the muscly Chrysler. It's gonna drive its way through your arsehole. But yeah, that, um, what's it called? Overjump. Mainly because the amount of times you hear Overjump in Sega Rally, I believe that's why he's named it Overjump. It is. It's really cool. But what's, what's crazy is the game that it reminds me of is similar to, like, Dirt. You know how Dirt styles its stuff with how realistic it is? And how they position, like, extra stuff on the sides of the stuff. It looks like Dirt Rally 2.0. A mix of Dirt Rally 2.0, but if it was made on Unreal 5 and it was made modern generation. And it was running at a much higher resolution. And it had arcade handling. But it, it's, it's such a cool looking project. And I actually have the demo installed on my PC. They've, if you look in the description, it's actually got a um, download where you can download it. I've downloaded it. I haven't tried it yet because I didn't have enough time. What I might do, I might take the photos 
and then try and run it to see how it looks. Give it a spin on stream, see what it's like. But yeah, it looks awesome. But what's even more crazy is the fact that that is a one-to-one -one map. Pretty much a one-to-one -one scale of the original Sega Rally map. Obviously not the original map, just one of the maps. Obviously the road is narrower, but it doesn't need to be that wide. Not for a modern title anyways. It does look awesome. <laughs> Trying to stretch my neck out. This feels really stiff and compressed and ugh. Need to go for a massage. Could do with one. Or a chiropractor. <laughs> Gamer neck be like. It's not even been that bad. It's just today, it's just horrendous. Today it's been really bad. But like yesterday, it was fine. And I don't even know why. Future! Nope. 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 I, I think I slept funny, but to be fair, I did get woken up at 7 o'clock this morning. Which doesn't sound ridiculous for anyone who sleeps like the textbook sleep schedule for a normal person. But for me, when I wake up at, um, what's it called? I normally go to sleep at 3. And then when I wake up, it's like at 7. That's four hours of sleep. So I think after when I woke up, I think that's when I slept funny. Yo, Magic, what up? Long time no see. How you been? Do, 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 do. But yeah. It was actually quite an interesting incident that happened today. Um, it was a fire. It was a fire up the road. <laughs> so uh, I got woken up with alarms at 7 in the morning I heard an alarm going off and it was like a constant beeping thing and it sort of startled me awake and then I was like shit have I left a cooker on or something is the house burning down turns out it was one of the neighbours so not too bad well very bad but at least it wasn't me. Because otherwise I, I wouldn't have heard the end of it. I would have died. So. <laughs> um, but yeah. I got woken up by blue flashing lights as well. I couldn't go to sleep for another hour. And then I slept for four hours. I, I woke up at basically like half twelve today. Just because my sleep got split up into two sleeps. Well, let's name a song after a type of rock. <laughs> let's name a song after a spider. Damn. Good to hear that you're doing, um, that you've just been chilling, Magic. Vibing away. So yeah, today's our last stream until uh, October. So, because I'm taking three weeks off. It's 
Still adjusting to waking up at 7am for school. That's not too bad. <laughs> Depends what you've been used to, though. If you've been used to waking up at, like, midday, then yeah, 7am is a bit of a shock. Which is why I then had to go sleep again for another four hours when I got woken up, so... <laughs> Tarantula is cool, but granite? <laughs> Here we go, 12 grand. We've got 9,300 XP. Laguna Seeker! Look <laughs> at fresh. Stand out on the edge of the earth. Basically fell over and landed on my shoulder and it basically popped out. Ooh. Ooh, that can't be comfortable. At least it's not broken. At least it's not broken, because that would have been even worse. But yeah, that's not that's not very comfortable. I've been lucky enough that I've never dislocated or broken a bone or sprained anything. Like I've never injured myself where I've had to stop. So Yeah, I've I've been quite lucky. Then again, I don't do too much physical activities that can cause that. Set one and two for everything with expected target grades of fucking A star in every subject. Do you know what's really bad? Is I was predicted um I was predicted high grades. For my maths and stuff like that. I was really... Throughout all of school... This is what really pisses me off. So throughout the whole of my education... Uh, I didn't realise it hurt until about two hours after the session. It's typically what happens when... You get the adrenaline pumping and then once that wears off you feel the pain. Uh, yeah, so throughout my entire education... From... At a younger age, when I was in primary for like year four, year five, year six, I was doing level six maths, which for, I'm not sure how it works, but primary school, our primary school, level six was like the highest level that you could do. Um, again, I can't remember how they graded it. It's It's been fucking years. But I do remember level 6 was some of the highest maths that you could do. And it, w it was an optional thing as well. So, I did high maths. Moved on to secondary school. Um, and we were in the year that um, basically they swapped to the number grading system for um, grades. So, every year before us, so when we went in year 7, year 8s were still doing the letter grading, we were the first year where they said, right we're moving to a number grading system in a couple of years time you're going to be learning the number graded papers um so yeah, we were pretty much the first maybe second, I think we ended up being the second because but yeah, pretty much the first that did number grading. And all throughout, like, secondary school, I was predicted. Eights, nines in maths. Went on to a different school. Again, predicted eights and nines. Had been pretty much on every test getting eights. Like, mock tests. Quite easily getting eights. Eight and a halves. Uh, one test that I did, I got a nine on. But again, that was a mock test, so they don't count. Um, and when it came to me doing my actual test, I got two papers at what was a 9 grading. So, all I needed was the third paper to be at a 9 grading as well, and I would have had a 9. Unfortunately, I had a massive upset that day. Um, that meant I physically could not take the test. Now, here's where the story gets fucked up. So, because I only took 
two tests, but they were both at a nine. The marks ended up adding up to pretty much a six. So out of two papers, I got a six. I didn't do the third paper. Now, I I know that a six is a pass. And a, to get a six is a high pass. Like, a very, very high pass. So, a six proves that you're capable of doing maths. But I wanted to... I knew I could do better. So, I wanted to reset all three papers. If I got a worse grade, I got a worse grade. If I got it... But on the off chance, I could actually do it and get all of those nines again. Even an eight. I would have been happy with an eight. But because I had passed, they wouldn't let me reset it. They wouldn't let me do it as an extra, like, do it again or whatever. They wouldn't even let me... Because I know the schools, when you have to do a reset, they pay for it. I even offered to pay for it to do the reset wouldn't let me do it because I had passed so they said there's no need which really wound me up because maths was the one thing that I knew I could get a 9 in I uh, technically on paper I am better at IT and computer science than I am at maths I know that's not true I am better at mathematics but because of how the education system is um because of how the education system is, it's just whatever happens at the end. To be honest, I should have got a 5 in my computer science, but I actually did really well in my computer science exam. So I ended up with a 6, and I was like, yeah, let's go. But, yeah, I got more marks or more percentage on computer science than I did on maths. Which sucks. That's why I think grading should be done based on your performance over mock tests as well as final exams. Because based off of my performance, I should have gotten... If, if you look at my entire year's performance, I would have had an 8 easily. So, um, yeah, that's why I think... The education system is just completely fucked in the UK. It's, it's a terrible system. But no one will change it because it gets the government money. So, you know. Like, yeah, I genuinely think we need a couple of generations of kids to just absolutely fail. And I don't even think we could intentionally do that. I think we're genuinely going to end up with quite a lot of kids. What the fuck was that? Just swerving and hitting the rear of my car. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I, I genuinely think we're going to have quite a few kids just absolutely fail over the next few years because A, the average attention span of a human being is dramatically reduced. It's probably thanks to social media and stuff like that because we're always looking to have something to stimulate our brain so sitting in an exam is a lot more difficult um but also when you think about it modern day learning just isn't up to the standard like when you think about it you go back 30 years ago a lot of students, a lot of, yeah, a lot of students were fairly, not well behaved, but just got on with it. Just got on the with the work, were able to memorize it. Now, with how, like, a lot of the jobs back then were fairly straightforward jobs when you think about it. Now we've got a lot more advanced sort of engineering stuff. We got a lot more advanced. Um, even office work is a lot more advanced than it used to be. And to teach people in such a basic, like, oh yeah, here's what you need to learn, because it, it doesn't apply. And I think the more important part, 
And I was saying this, um, I was having a debate with my, um, my mum and one of her, one of our neighbours, actually. Um, we were sort of discussing about how, um, the education system is a bit clear. And one of the points that I, I don't know if I brought it up. I might have, I might not have. It was a while ago. But one of the points that I always bring up when I have a debate about the education system is uh, what's it called? Other than I think English, which is a little more interpretive, everything in learning is about problem solving in one way, shape or another. You think, right? When you learn maths I, I, we'll do programming, right? We'll do computer science as an example so you look at computer science as and programming in general programming is just a list of instructions and you have to put those instructions in a certain order to do a specific task correct if you put that into a maths perspective you have a set of instructions right and you have to put them together to work out a result like plus minus divide to convert those numbers into and it's problem solving when you look at science you do maths as well as just generic problem solving to work out how periodic tables how the elemental weight has effects on I just can't fucking remember. But it's all problem solving. Except for English where it requires you to think more about feelings more than anything. But they are majority problem solving. But no school will teach you about it as a... Like with a problem solving approach to learning. They won't teach you that way. The only way they'll teach you is, here's how you work this out, do it. But that will only apply for that one circumstance. You need to do problem solving to apply that to other things. And they don't teach it in that way. Right, let me read back on chat because I was debating a long time for that. Or ranting. Uh, my year has the worst possible run-up to our GCSEs. Half of year 7 was locked down. A third of year 8 was locked down. We only just settled into year 9 before the summer holiday. And now we're in year 10 and we realise we haven't covered anywhere nearly as much as we needed to. Well, yeah, because the tests are all about memorisation. So they just get you to remember a lot of stuff. Um, and hope that you know how to apply it on the test day. That's all it is at the moment. Magic! Thank you for the follow. That's all they do. They just apply... Um, get you to apply that thinking on the test day. But that's not realistic in the real world. You're going to learn stuff. You're going to be recapped on stuff. You're going to be all this stuff. So for you to learn, you need to prove that you are capable of something over a longer period. And let's be honest, we're in an era where you can Google stuff and get the answer. So when you're learning about this stuff and memorizing this stuff, you should know how to use all your resources to understand. Like again, you can do maths quite easily. Um, if you know how to problem solve. And a lot of people that struggle with maths, um, and that really struggle with maths, it's the fact that they don't think of it as a problem solving exercise, they think of it as like an alien language. But really, all you've got to do is just... Just work it out, you know. And that's where the teachers need to 
teach people is how to problem solve, how to apply the stuff in a general sense, not just thingy. The thing pissed me off today, my science teacher literally Googled something about what microbe causes a disease, but we're expected to remember every element with up to 20 mass according to its atomic number. Yeah, that's a bit fucked. I think it's good... <laughs> that's the problem. Teachers are able to use all the resources in the world to create a lesson. I have no problem with that, but I have the problem that you're expected to memorize this stuff. Now, th the reason why I struggled in school so much was because of my ADHD, it literally says it in the name, attention deficit, which means I've got a lack of attention. So unless I'm constantly being stimulated by anything, not in a sexual way before anyone clips that out of context, my mind has to be stimulated by something. So for this, it's constantly driving different cars, experiencing the cars and playing a racing game. This is my brain being stimulated. This is where my attention span is. Trying to have use that attention span in a lesson to remember an entire fucking textbook for a test. Fuck right off. That's not happening. <laughs> there we go. 11 grand in XP. We've got 10% discount on displacement upgrades. I believe there's one more race. Yeah, I've I still watch quite a few people, but... I have quite a busy schedule now. Especially with this Forza project that I'm doing. I'm spending a lot of time editing and a lot of time rendering and a lot of time recording. So. Ooh. Turning in a bit too early there. America. Fuck yeah. Coming along to save the motherfucking day. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. Have you finished your GCSEs though, Magic? You can't legally in the UK get a job until you've done your GCSEs. It's very strange. You can get like a paper round, but that earns like 10 quid. <laughs> it's not dumb. Because... I think the, the minimum age to hire someone is 16. Well, yeah. But what's the point in working before you finish your GCSEs? I've just noticed this is a full normal track without the uh, chicanes on it. It's only just clicked, but this is a full track without the chicanes. I want the chicanes back. I preferred the chicanes. I'll be honest. Do 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 do. Technically, but again, I think they'd get you to do your GCSEs first, just because of the fact that they are quite an important test. So. Oh, there's a fuck ton of adverts. There's a Hyundai advert there. I think on this track, because this has been in three different games, I think it's had three different cars heavily advertised on it. Uh, I know there's another. You got the Bill Stein boards there. What's that? That's a Hyundai. Hyundai Genesis. Hyundai Genesis. I just saw another one. Hyundai Genesis. So yeah, it's just heavily Hyundai Genesis on this map. There's another one. JVC. Toys R Us. That is awesome. They ain't been around for ages. Genesis. There you go. <laughs> There's so many. Can 
Boss wankers! What if I crashed? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I was looking at the advertising. What's the timer for? Time is just saying how long I've been playing the game. It's pretty much total playtime. So we've had 53 hours of playtime so far and we're still only 50% into this game. So I've predicted about 130 hours of playtime before I finish this game. So yeah, we're looking at like probably at least a week worth of just non-stop playtime. Ow. I was like... A uh, spot that started bleeding earlier. MSN autos. God, I can't believe MSN still exists. It is the deadest software that's ever existed. <laughs> Yeah, it is kind of frustrating. Just right on my cheek. Right here. Pineapple pen, apple pen. Pen, pineapple, apple pen. Amp, 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 amp. I have a pen. I have an apple. Oh, apple pen. I have a pen. I have pineapple. Oh, pineapple pen. Apple pen. Pineapple pen. Ah, oh, ah. Pen pineapple. Apple pen. It's been fucking years since I've heard that. Wow, no point asking me. I ain't gonna have a clue. <laughs> yeah, well, we've turned um, ad frequency up. Because Twitch now offers you a much higher percentage if you run um, three minutes of ads every hour. So, I've got that set up. Three minutes of ads an hour. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Meow. Not bad. Saving ghosts. Please don't turn off your console. Not bad. Well, that's us done for today in terms of races, but now I've got to get thumbnails and I want to try that game out. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.